Hey guys, by the time this video is posted, it will be May 5th of 2018, which will mark my 11th year anniversary as a content creator on YouTube. I uploaded my first video uh, May 5th of 2007. It was a really horrible Halo machinima that I feel like I've come a long way since then. But, you know, it is kind of neat looking back on these 11 years, uh, looking at how much I've done on this channel. I've done a variety of so many things. I have at least 4,000 videos. Uh, on two separate respective channels. I have 4,000 subscribers. It was definitely a nice ride. I did uh, home movies and Halo Machinima back in the early, early days. Did Guitar Hero, then Rock Band. Uh, picked up Let's Plays, and then I picked up Smash and Speedrunning for a bit. Uh, did my uh, own vid docs with, uh, my, with my actual music. Uh, anyway, this video was more or less meant to be a state of uh, channel kind of thing going on. Because uh, I don't uh, keep you guys updated on this stuff, but that's just because I'm so busy. But I guess now's a good time for it as uh, ever. So uh, first, I guess I can get this out of the way since I am most well-known for this. this. is my Rock Band stuff. What is going on with uh, Rock Band right now? So uh, a couple weeks back, I did have a few Rock Band streams. So, like oh, quite a few Rock Band streams in a row. I was uh, kind of driven to stream rock band again and like get in a rock band again uh so what had happened before uh before the stream i had uh technical issues or technical i had technical difficulties with uh one of my drum pads this actually happened in one of my stream videos it's actually on my channel but i haven't really peer reviewed any of it um uh, my red pad suddenly just stopped working and that was a huge problem, because you kind of need the red pad, and I didn't have any other pads to replace it. So I went online to try to look for a replacement pad, and it didn't exist. The, I the ion pads, the rubber and the mylar ones, they have been discontinued. They don't make them anymore. They don't make the ion drum rocker anymore either. So I would have had to get a, like a legit rolling head for the ion kit in order to continue playing Rock Band, which would have ran me at least $120, $125 actually. Fortunately, my Rock Band Rivals crew, they were, uh, they were willing to start a GoFundMe for me to get the pad, and it was fulfilled, and I got the pad, and I started streaming again. And then a bunch of change happened in my life all of a sudden and it was it's very personal stuff that I won't delve into but it did take a lot out of out of my life and I didn't really have much time to play rock band anymore and um, shortly uh, after that series of streaming they basically said uh, my, my crew basically told me that uh, it seemed like I was too busy to actually play with them and uh, they uh, replaced me with somebody else so uh, that's basically where my rock band drive went because it's like at that point, I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play on my drum set. Because I was, because uh, what originally happened, I rejoined the crew to help me practice my drums a little bit. Because lately, uh, in my actual musical, musical endeavors, I've been mixing. I've been learning how to mix and master songs as opposed to actually practicing drums. And uh, when it came time for me to re-record my drum parts for those songs, I was just so out of it and so rusty, and I was like, you know, I, I need I need Rock Band to help me out with this, uh, because we've had stupid weather in April and in March, especially. Like it, it's just been it was a stupid fucking April where it was fucking thirty degrees for most of it, and uh, my drum practice space is absolutely unbearable to play in in the cold. So. I'm sorry to get you guys hyped up with those streams about me coming back to Rock Band and then all of a sudden I just stop playing and kind of don't give a word about it. But there's basically my word about it. Um, honestly, from the get-go, Rock Band was something that was more of a hobby for me, not actually an endeavor. It was pretty nice playing Rock Band back in its golden age. You know, uh, I did amass 4,000 subscribers doing that. I had a lot of fun hanging out with uh, other rock band pros. We had, like, this this circle going on. We would play 
a game with each other. We would uh, get these full band FCs. It was it was a load of fun to play. It was a load of fun to watch each other stream. It was it was all very fun, but it's in the past right now. Uh, from the get go, uh, when I started playing Guitar Hero, in fact, uh, that was when I fully decided on making uh, music a career that I would have wanted to go in. Uh, like I said, it started with Guitar Hero, so it started with me trying to learn guitar, but it turned out that I was pretty bad at guitar. I started playing Rock Band, and, well, I wasn't good at drums off the bat. I was actually very awful. But I got good at them pretty fast. I got to that, like, that pro level that I kind of wanted to be at back when Guitar Hero 3 was out and people were getting 700k on Through the Fire and Flames. I kind of wanted to be at that level, but I wasn't nearly good enough at Guitar Hero to get at that level. But I, I felt at that level when I was playing drums. My rock band skills today aren't nearly as good as they used to be back then, but, you know, I still have a Rock Band 1 full game FC under my belt, so that's something. But like I said, uh, Rock Band these days is just a side thing, because Rock Band isn't really trendy anymore. Even when Rock Band 4 was new, it wasn't even trendy. Like, it wasn't even a thing that people were getting into, because the game was just half-baked and incomplete. And I feel like the Rock Band time is kind of past. Now it kind of just, it just exists if it's a game that you want to have fun with. Which is a game I do want to have fun with, but I genuinely really don't have much time for it anymore. But now, like I said, I had a lot of fun playing Rock Band, so I thank my friends for playing with me. I thank my old friends uh, Duck and Brunelleschi for hitting me up and uh, wanting to play Rock Band with me again like it was good old 2009, 2010, 2008. All, all those good years. Uh, it was very fun to do. I, it was really fun to uh, uh, get fan interaction in the streams and everything going. It was it was good to kind of feel special again. Now one of the other main things that I do on this channel is Let's Playing. Something that's not, you know, necessarily popular with me given my retention rate. I have a really bad uh, view to subscriber retention rate. But if I really cared about, you know, the views, I probably would have stopped doing Let's Plays a long time ago. That was a thing that I was doing for fun. Now, what exactly happened with my Let's Plays? I was on a good track with it, and then I want to s what year was it? All these years seem to meld together, but I want to say it was either 2012 or 2013 when a bunch of stuff started to happen at once. This was when I started uh, working full-time jobs instead of part-time jobs, and I had an actual, like, legit band I was, that I was interested in and I believed in going on as well, so I had my focus in other places. And on top of that, I was having issues with my computer. Like, my Assassin's Creed 3 Let's Play was actually going on at this time. I was having issues with my computer. It wasn't capturing right. It was getting old, and it was dying. So while I was in the middle of playing Assassin's Creed 3, while I was in the middle of recording the Let's Play, uh, one of the footages got corrupted. One of the captures got corrupted, and it would have meant I had to replay the whole game just so I can watch that cutscene again. Which is bullshit. Assassin's Creed was kind of a legacy Let's Play for me. It was something that I kind of committed myself to Let's Play all the games to, but then that happened and I kind of just abandoned the LP and on top of that with uh, the release of future Assassin's Creed games I kind of just abandoned Assassin's Creed altogether it's like honestly if I were to sum up all the Assassin's Creed games it's like the first four you just can't touch like those those are the first four Assassin's Creed games. They might not have aged well, but they, they were the best ones, and it's like, you can't really top them. Assassin's Creed 3 was the first game that actually left a huge, quite a bitter taste in my mouth. It was something that I felt like I had to Let's Play just to show off how many steps Ubisoft took back with this game. And Assassin's Creed basically became the Call of Duty of Ubisoft. And then what happened after Assassin's Creed 3? Well, I suppose I should 
start with what happened with Assassin's Creed. Because, like, I was playing these first four games, beating them, like, all of them, 20 times each. And then Assassin's Creed 3 comes along. I only beat it twice. So, what happened there? Like I said, I felt like Assassin's Creed 3 was uh, the point where I felt like Assassin's Creed died. I, you played as a main character who just wasn't interesting at all. It was an uninteresting point of history that everyone's heard a thousand times before. It was... Uh, there was a lot of experimentation, a lot of needless experimentation and uh, unnecessary grinding in that game. A lot of shit that they really didn't think thoroughly through. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag was the same way. I, a lot of people really liked that game. I hated the sailing. I absolutely hated the sailing in Assassin's Creed 4. I didn't go back. It was actually the first Assassin's Creed game that I did not 100% because I didn't want to do all of the fucking diving bell missions. And on top of that, the game was on some bullshit with the optional objectives. It was always just like, hey, just do the mission. And then you fail the optional objective because the game didn't tell you what it was. It was stupid. And then Rogue. Rogue was a really good Assassin's Creed game. I, I liked Rogue. I felt like they finally... Uh, they fully baked the shipping aspect, and it was actually fun in that game to me. And then Unity came out, and I was like, why did you guys think it was a good idea to release two Assassin's Creed games in a year when you can barely put out one functioning Assassin's Creed game a year? And Unity was just a piece of garbage, and it should not have ever seen the light of day, let alone taken 60 fucking dollars from me. Syndicate was a good game, I like that. And then uh, there was Origins. Origins, I just didn't like. I played it. Uh, I played it through the first sequence. I was her first or second sequence. I don't even remember where I stopped, but I just grew genuinely disinterested in it, and I was like, "Yeah, this is it. I'm done." Just it was it was the black sheep of Assassin's Creed games. I felt like they implemented too many stupid game mechanics that they didn't even need to do. They messed around with the controls too much. The dependency on Senu is absolutely ridiculous and the open world aspect was just a trend that they took up, but it's ultimately incredibly boring and just genuinely uninteresting. I could have spent years LPing these games explaining all of this, or I could have just made this video and explained all of this. But no, honestly, I really wanted to do a lot of projects. Honestly, if, if I didn't have to sleep or eat or shower, or, you know, do any human necessities, I would use all the time that I could to do all of the things that I want to do in life. I guess I just have a subconscious need to want to prove to the world that I'm a limitless person, but I'm not. But I really wanted to let's play a lot of games as soon as I got my new computer. But then I got roped into other things by other people. I got roped into Kratos playing Dark Souls. I got roped in with uh, Clumsy to play uh, Halo games. I got roped in on Clumsy's Luigi's Mansion let's play. It was uh, it's just it was a bunch of projects I got roped into uh, as far as let's playing goes as opposed to projects that I actually wanted to do. I guess Rock Band felt the same way, too. I was getting roped into Rock Band as opposed to, you know, playing it for fun. Because why I got back into it in the first place was because last year, uh, Brunelleschi hit me up, and she said, Hey, I'm in a Rock Band crew, and we haven't played in forever, we haven't talked in forever, let's, uh, let's have some fun. And that was uh, basically what it was. Otherwise, I would have gone on to let's play my long list of games, which would have been all of the Assassin's Creed games, and then I would have eventually gotten back to Dead Rising, tried to let's play the Dead Rising games, I wanted to let's play Wooly World. I actually was thinking about going back to let's play my old let's plays, like with uh, HD graphics. I have an HDMI converter on my Wii now. I was going to play Eternal Darkness that way. I was going to play the Dead Rising remaster, the Ezio Trilogy remaster, but honestly, with uh, how stretched my time is, I don't... I don't really think uh, that's a thing that uh, I can really do. It's not a thing that I don't want to do. It's a thing that I can't do. Because at the moment, uh, as far as you know, my musical endeavors go, I'm really tied up with that. I am uh, 
mixing uh, our first album. We're actually recording the album at home. It's uh, it's been it's been quite a process, you know, just learning how all of this works. Uh, originally, we were going to go to a recording guy, and he was going to give us a really good deal for it, $2,200 to record the album, which isn't bad at all. But then we got to thinking, for a little over $2,200, we could actually get all of the equipment ourselves and not only record our first album, but record all of the EPs, demos, and albums at home all we want. But like I said, it's it's been a learning process. Uh, you don't just buy a an $800 multi-tracking mix board and just learn it on the spot. There's a lot more into it you gotta learn about, you know, with EQs, with compressors, uh, expanders, side chains, uh, just a whole lot of shit. And to do that while rec while recording the album at the same time is it was definitely very daunting to me, but at right now I think I really got a good handle on it. Our my band Metalbrook, we are releasing the album this summer, hopefully, and it's it's sounding really good. But it's like right now I guess I'm at that point in my life where uh, all of my years are just meshing together because I'm working full-time jobs now and my time is more limited than it used to be. I honestly am surprised at how quickly like the last five years have passed. I was, I'm just like, dang, five years. Like it, it felt like five years went forever. The first ten years of my uh, uh, YouTube career, it felt like those five years went forever and then the second five years just flew by. It was... I don't, I don't know what had happened. It just, it just felt like one day, all of a sudden, my life was just flying. But yeah, at this point, I kind of got to separate uh, what I want to do uh, for fun and what I want to do to make an impact on the world at this moment. And right now, it's looking like you know, let's plays are going to be one of the things that I'm uh, cutting out of the equation. Maybe one of these days when my time frees up more, I'll uh, be more committed to doing it so it's not an indefinite thing, but uh, I am I feel much better explaining it and putting it in a video as opposed to just, uh, just scramming and just not leaving a trace, you know? But anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. I want to thank everyone for being a fan of mine for as long as you have, regardless of whether you've been here since uh, I've been doing this 11 years ago, or whether you just subscribe now because of uh, rock band videos, you know, I do appreciate your support. It does kind of give me a drive to keep going on with this, but like I said, my time is limited, and I gotta manage it a little bit better. So, here's hoping I come back again one day. I'll still be posting, you know, uh, uh, vid doc videos. I'll be posting like random fun videos of uh, my band playing at shows, me playing drums at shows. Uh, hopefully, more stuff like that to come, more musical stuff. That's kind of what I really want to focus on in life. And I really hope uh, that uh, as my fans and supporters, you uh, fully respect that decision and uh, don't hound me to make rock band videos constantly. But yeah, thank, thank you guys for uh, being there for me and for supporting my content for as long as you have. And uh, thank you for watching the video.